Sketching intersections, so we love to just join today. And so you can see some wonderful examples of my lack of art talent. Um, so realize I will be rather lenient with you. But what we are going to do is sketch the full figures and then their intersections, because that's going to be one of the things we're really looking for in geometry is looking at how these figures interact and intersect with each other. So the vocabulary we're a little bit shorter than last time. We have two words, and I guess most of you would be able to define these on your own. But for intersect. We are going to say that figures intersect if they have any points in common. So realize those points could be one point, it could be points on a line. So we're going to start looking at different types of intersections. And then the intersection, the intersection um, of two or more figures is the point of points that figures have in common. So we're going to be looking at one point or multiple points that they may have in common. So once again, we're taking a look at these postulates. There's nothing special about postulate three. Uh, if you Google that, you probably will not find this. But in our book, this is the third postulate they introduce you to. I remember postulates are just something that's accepted as true. So the intersection of two lines. If two lines intersect, then their intersection, if we look at the diagram, is going to be a point. Um, these two lines are just one dimensional. And so we look at where they cross, they're only going to be able to make a point. And so symbolically, we'll say lines S and T, notice they're the lowercase letters, intersect at, and we're going to put capital P there for the point. So point P is where they're intersecting. Um, Passionate for now, we're looking at the intersection of two planes. So if two planes are going to intersect, then their intersection is a, we need to think of this in terms of what we just had. We had a one-dimensional figure and we went down into that small undefined um, intersection of a point. Our planes are two-dimensional, so their intersection is, actually, is going to have to go back. We're going to have to be something smaller than the two-dimensional figure. And so they intersect in that one-dimensional figure called a line. So if we take a look at what it is in a uh, words, or symbols, planes M and N, remember the planes are named in the corners with uppercase letters, intersect at line D, lowercase d. There's no points on D, so I can't name it any other way than using the D. So, follow up. This is where you get to start drawing. I want to draw lines K and L that intersect at point Z. Intersect simply means that they're going to have to cross each other. So I'm going to draw a line K, and your line could go in any direction. Mine's going to go up and to the left. There's nothing special about that. The only thing I have to make sure is that when I go to draw a line L, that it intersects it somewhere on this line. You have to make sure you're labeling everything. So I have to put the lowercase L, and then I'm going to label that point where they intersect as my Z. Now I need to draw lines M and N that do not intersect. And I'm going to guess the majority of you know that if two lines do not intersect, then they are parallel. So I'm going to, to the best of my ability, draw two lines, one named M and then one named N, that appear to be parallel. Now because I'm not using any geometry tools to make sure of that, I'm just doing the best to eyeball that. But notice they're trying to run straight um, on my paper, they're not closing in towards each other. And once again, you're labeling that with M and N. All right, so let's take a look at what our example problems are going to look like. Um, we're using our diagram at the right. We've got three lines here. We've got AC, DF, and then we've got this line BE with those points. So we want to name the intersection of AC and BE. So once again, I'm going to highlight for you, we're talking about AC and BE, where do those two lines intersect at? Well, if we look, the intersections up here, they've labeled that with point B. So for A, AC and BE intersect at B. It is just a point, so there's just going to be the one letter. If we go back to our postulate, anytime we're looking at just lines, our answer is a single letter point. If we take a look at B, name the intersection of BE, and DF. 
So we look where our two highlighted lines intersect. They're intersecting here, and they're calling that point E. All right, so two lines go back to just a point of intersection, so that's all we're naming it as. And then last but not least, they say name the intersection of D, uh, AC and DF. So we look at AC and DF. Well, now this looks very similar to the last follow-up we just did, where we appear to have two lines that are never going to intersect. So our answer for that, if we're looking at two lines and they don't appear to intersect, then we would say AC and DF do not appear to, you simply tell me, intersect. All right, so sometimes you're not going to be able to answer the question. Don't leave a blank, but tell me they do not appear to intersect. All right, do you think AC and DF will ever intersect? So if we go back and look at that, and we'll kind of talk about that a little bit in class. But I would say if we do a split screen here and take a look at those, this AC and DF, based on the conversation I've had on um, the postulate and looking at those other ones, because they appear to be parallel, um, no. And if we ask you to explain it, you could say because they look parallel. All right. So now they want us to take a look at the two figures on the right. So I'll go close screen so you can see them. In the figures at the right, do we think lines M and N will intersect? Explain. Well, when I look at this, they look like they're almost about to fit. So I'm going to say yes. Because they will continue past the arrowhead. We talked about those arrowheads, we use those to show that the line continues. So if I continue line N in red, past that arrowhead as straight as I can. If I look at line M in green and continue that, we can see they eventually, and it's okay to extend those because they're lines and we know that they will keep extending. All right, now we're going to take a look at that postulate number four where it said two planes will intersect at a line. So we're going to start looking at what the intersection of planes looks like. So we need to name the intersection of plane S and R. So S is this vertical plane that's shaded, and R is this horizontal plane that's um, higher up on the diagram. So once again, I'm using the letters in the corner. Um, where do they intersect? Because they're a two-dimensional figure, they're going to have a continuous um, intersection that keeps going across our paper. And so that's where we find this line K is their point of intersection. There's no points on K that are named for us, so we just use lowercase k. Um, name the intersection of R and T. So if we look at plane R, and plane T, other than the fact that my highlighter is a little thick, nothing that I drew in there intersected with each other. And so those planes are what we'd call parallel planes. They're kind of like the top and the bottom of a box. And the top and your bottom of the box never intersect each other. The sides intersect your box. But the uh, top and bottom never touch each other on the box. So your answer to that is planes R and T do not appear to intersect. And so if we look at our last question here, name the intersection of planes T and S. So I'm looking at this lower horizontal plane and then this vertical plane of S. So when we look at that, they're intersecting down here. Planes have to intersect at a line, and the line that we're intersecting at is line L. So now here's our checkpoint. So once again, this is where I would highly recommend pausing the video and doing these on your own and then checking your answers back. But make sure you get correct answers written in. Um, it says name the intersection of line PS and QR. Those are lines. If I go back to postulate three, it says they should intersect in a point. So I need to find line PS and line QR. And those are going to intersect at 
point R. Name the intersection. They're using the notation for line TV. And then QU, so I'm going to go past that, this is whole line here. They intersect at the point there. We need to be careful here. V is denoted by this point here. This is denoting V. So it's U that's our point of intersection. So U is our point of intersection. And then last but not least, they ask us to take a look at line PS. So PS is our blue line. I'm going to do UV. So here's U and V. Remember that line keeps going in red. And our answer there, because they're not, they don't have a point in common, they don't intersect, as we would say, they do not intersect. So that's what it looks like when we're naming intersections. We're going to take a look at the planes. Remember, our planes intersect at a point. Or I'm sorry, planes intersect at a line. So we're looking at the intersection of, line, of planes X and Y. So we're looking at this left-hand side, and that's this line right here. So line P, lowercase letters. Name the intersection of planes Y. This is our horizontal, and then plane V, our vertical one, and we're looking over here on the right-hand side. It needs to be a line, so we use that lowercase q. And last but not least, I think you guys are starting to see a pattern here. We're going to be looking at two more planes, plane Z and X. If they're both vertical, it's like the sides of the box. They do not intersect, so our answer is asking to name the intersection. We say they do not. intersect. All right, I am afraid that we are to my least favorite part of this lecture, and that's going to be sketching. So, sketching intersections of lines and planes. It says sketch a plane. So that's going to be the first thing I do down here is I'm going to sketch a plane. Remember, a plane kind of looks like a piece of paper, a parallelogram. Then sketch each of the following. I'm going to do A in red. Sketch a line that is in the plane. So I need to have in my plane, on my piece of paper, a line. And I'm going to name it, and I'm just going to call that line A. I need to um, draw a line that does not intersect the plane. So I'm going to do that in B. So I take a look at my line that does not intersect the plane. Remember, my plane is flat. It's like the bottom of a box. I'm going to draw a line up here and call that B, and that is up off the paper. And that's going to be one of the things that becomes difficult about our geometry, is we're trying to take um, something that is maybe a little three-dimensional and squash it down at two-dimensional. But notice, if I'm on the plane or in the plane, then I'm in the box. If I'm not intersecting the plane, then I'm going to be outside of that box. And then line, um, part C. A line that intersects a plane at just a point. If I'm just going to have a one point, that means I actually have to cut through the piece of paper. So I'm going to hit here, I'm going to hit put dashes here, and then I'm going to continue through. What these dashes mean right here is that I am actually under the plane. I'm not on the plane here. I'm not laying on it. I've gone through it this hole. There's like a little opening here. And you can't see it, so we represent it with dashes. But then as soon as we get down this side, we see that. So that's our line C. All right, we need to sketch two planes that intersect at, um, in a line. So. They're going to give you the steps for doing that. So that's what this red, black, and red, you may all do. So the solution to doing that, you need to draw one plane as if you're looking straight at it. So this is going to be the plane um, that, and we're looking right at this vertical plane, kind of right up here, looking at me. Um, I'm going to label this plane A just so we have a name here. Okay, I did that in red. I now need to draw a second plane that is horizontal. So I'm going to have this horizontal 
and it's kind of coming out at me like this. Now, I'm going to continue this back. Okay, but we're going to show you kind of what we um, end up having to do here. Um, and this is going to be my plane B. And then we need to draw the line of intersection. So the line of intersection is going across here. Here's my line of intersection. I'll call that line um, C because that's my third step. But then we need to use dashed lines to show where the one plane is hidden. It's going to be our second plane. And it's hidden back here. We have these little dashes. And I'm going to kind of erase all of it. And we have these dashes here because our plane is not showing behind here. It's behind that A. And so that's gives you a rough sketch of what it's going to look like. And we're going to do an activity um, before you guys start the homework that will help you visualize a little bit more of what these planes look like. All right. Try to sketch two planes that intersect in exactly one point. Why is this impossible? Well, I kind of give you a little heads up here. It's impossible. You can try if you want, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to show me something in class tomorrow where you think you've done it, I will take time to look at it. But I'm going to tell you, they're right. It's impossible. And the reason it's impossible is this. If it's exactly one point, we know from postulate four, planes intersect at one line. There's no way to get that any smaller. Um, if you think of trying to cram two pieces to, of paper together without rolling them up into a ball, they would have to cut through each other um, and make a whole line, not just a little point. All right. All right, I'm going to start with it. Hopefully I didn't have everything in my slideshow there. All right, we need two lines that intersect a plane at the same point. So I need to draw a plane. So I'm going to start with that. I need to have two lines that intersect in that plane. So I'm going to draw in one line. It hits at this point. It then goes under cover. This is its point of intersection. So if I'm going to have a second line that intersects that plane, I need to come and hit this same point. And once again, it's going to be dashed because it's going underneath. You start to see it, and then there's my two lines. Um, two planes that intersect in a line. Um, once again, guys, we have the directions for that. Draw a vertical one. Draw a horizontal one. Draw it past it. Come back. And then remember, this part here needs to be dashed. So the part that's inside the blue on the back end um, is where we draw that dash in. We need to draw in our intersecting line. So this is my line where they intersect. And then two planes that do not intersect, remember do not intersect is going to tell us that they are parallel. We're looking for something that looks parallel. So it just needs to be two planes that are going in the same direction. So I'm going to draw a vertical plane here. I'm going to draw a vertical plane here. They are not intersecting. And there we go. 